What's going on everyone? Train Freak here and today we are in Hickory Ridge. We've got the Colton Block SSC Freight. It's a northbound freight headed towards Jonesboro and it's uh, being pulled by two of my Bachman F7s that I custom uh, made to look like cotton belt units. Uh, you could click the uh, video uh, or the card in the upper right corner and be taken to that video if you're interested on how I did that. But we've got a short layout update today. We're going to talk about installing track lighting, which is why Brinkley is lit. And also discuss about the single slip versus double slip. So stay tuned. All right. So I'm giving you a really big view of the room because... If you see these little things hanging down there, yes, those are lights. Now, this is really the only update I've got. So I haven't really done anything as far as on the layout. But, from this corner here on the track lighting, um, the 45 degree piece was there, and that little bitty stub 1x4 there held just a small piece of track lighting on it. And of course I took that off and what I had to do was make L girders to go all the way down and that's about 18 feet, well 16 feet. And then we did the same thing over here. I don't know if you can see that very well. And so far I've got the track lighting over here. So, and I have the room lights off right now. Um, and this is doing a, it's lighting the room up pretty well. But, I went ahead and, and got track lighting installed for, this is Hickory Ridge. Of course, you got a couple buildings there. And then, the corner of Brinkley. And the reason why I couldn't go out any further, is because these uh, lamp fixtures, yeah, Home Depot, my local Home Depot's out of stock. Because I ended up buying the last ones. So, yeah, I wiped their shelves out. So, I'm factoring I'm probably going to need maybe three more. To finish off Brinkley. So that will have to come in a later update. But yeah. That's pretty much it. So the 1x4s or the L girders that you see here. It's a, basically a 1x4. Get the camera a little closer. That's laid flat. And a 1x2 screwed in from the top side. So you have to make those first. Now I guess what kind of made. Installing this long section here. A pain in the butt. Which, it's actually two pieces. Um, because you can see my joint. We got a 45 degree joint right there. Is, there's no stud above this. So, of course, with the help of Miss Freak. Um, we held it up there. We got our measurements. Make sure that we're, you know, flush to the front of the layout. And I had to take my drill and drill little pilot holes which also drilled through the sheetrock. And then of course on the sheetrock, I had to use these anchors that I really like. Um, they kind of screw in. I'll show you what they look like. But um, it's it's these, these things. Yeah, these little anchors. So you tap it in, you can take a screwdriver and you screw it in there and it's got a really, really good hold. Um, and then of course we used the screws that came with them or with those anchors. You can get that at Home Depot. Uh, Lowe's I'm pretty sure carries them as well. Popped a washer on them and screwed those into the anchors. So it was a lot of trial and error to get all of that um, installed correctly. Now luckily for me, uh, this piece here, my, st my rafters are going this way. So I was able to use actual wood screws, um, one and three quarter inch to two inch wood screws and uh, pop those in each. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the wood screws. Yeah, there's, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's there. And it's the same screws that I use when I build my bench work. But yeah. That's really all I've got as far as this update goes. Um, I did purchase a track piece that I have not put in um, yet. And I can show you why I bought it. And 
I put up a community post a while back asking y'all about this uh, double slip here. Because I got a single slip here. Now I'm going to put those side by side so you can see the difference. So, for those who do not know what the purpose of a double and a single slip is, is a, it's basically both of them are a crossing. But a single slip will allow you to go, say, from this track, and you can curve to this track here. However, on a single, you can't go from this one to this one. So, let me, well, of course, I got a little bit of a shadow. There we go. So like I said, because this rail here curves, and you got the other curved piece there, this is why they call it a single slip. Line the points that way, now your car is going to take the diverging track. But of course it doesn't happen on the top side. So, this is a double slip. Of course it's still in the package. I can go from here to here, or from here to there. And the same thing from this track. I can go from here to the top one and from here to there. So it's a double slip. And so some people are like, yes, it's going to really improve your operations. And some people are like, nah, no it ain't. All right. So let me explain. Local, local's coming down this track here, right? And of course, he's going to back in here. So he can back in to either this track or this track. Now, when he's backing in, that means the locomotive is going to be on the front end. Well, how is the locomotive going to be on the front end when it has to shove cars in this track, this track, and that track way down there where that white tanker is? That's why we have a runaround. So, here's my dilemma. I'm not worried about those two cars. Oh, but that tanker way down there. That means I have to make sure that this is set up perfectly. There's instances where these cars here will be on the front end of the train than that car. Meaning that when I back my train in, I have to back it in to this track here, drop off those cars. No, take that back. I have to back in this track here, drop off the tanker, pull up, Come up here, drop off those two cars, pull back up, back in, grab the tanker, pull up, connect the tanker to the front side of those cars, and eventually get them all dropped off here. Because that tanker's got to be the first car here, so that way when my locomotive runs around, it can just push it straight through. Now, if I get the double slip, it's not going to matter which track that that tanker is the first car on. I could either have it on this one or this one. So just, you know, whatever cars I drop off first, it's not really going to matter. And it also makes it to where when I pull a car from this track, I don't have to necessarily pull it on this one. I could pull and curve and go up the ladder with it. So a double slip will make the operations easier. And it's also going to make it to where I don't have to always come out on the main line. Because let's say that if I'm doing some switching operations in here, even though I might be occupying this track with cars that don't need to go in here, or cars that I just pulled out, but let's say that I've got a train coming, then I've got both of these lines open and not just one. So that way I can always move people over. So... It, it will improve things. So that's going to be one of the things that I start working on very soon. This one's going to be a little fun one to pull out, but it's best that I go ahead and pull it out now instead of later. Um, because right now I don't have any tortoises um, under this. Once you get tortoises in there, it just makes it that much more difficult. And I really don't want to cut any more of the ties. So um, I'm going to leave this turn out here. I'm going to leave these two tracks alone. So I'm going to have to take out some of this track. The nails on it, I'll have to take the turnout out and a couple, you know, a little bit of that track just tall enough that I can, you know, have a ridge and pull it out this way, slide the new one in, pop it in place, and 
tack it down. And these are held down by five nails. You got one, two, three, four, and five. So, so that's going to be one of the things that I will be working on very soon. Um, especially now since I'm doing operation videos. Um, because the next train that we're going to do is going to be uh, the Jonesboro to Brinkley local. Um, you got to see the Rock Island ones already. And even though the Jonesboro to Brinkley local doesn't interchange here, but when it returns, it does interchange here. So I definitely want to get that swapped out before we start doing operations on that again. So other than that, that's really all I've got. So um, I hope to see y'all tonight on Sidetrack Sunday. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going to be going on. I'm supposed to have a friend come, but, you know, sometimes things happen. Um, he was supposed to come a while back and ended up getting called into work. So, um, so hopefully we'll see what, you know, if he's going to be able to join me tonight or not. So, all right, well, y'all be safe out there. I wish y'all a great one and happy railroading.